I want to talk about Jeannie Sonnenfield. She used to be Jeannie Franks, married to oh. Bill Franks. Oh, yeah. You know, she was also Jens Bogvard's wife. Now, she got recalled from Cincinnati and she was put on very heavy mess labor for here in Los Angeles with her son. She brought her son in as staff and both her and her son Unbelievable. were sent to what we call the decks. And Cincinnati all recently has been told that she has been retired. That's the word, retired. That means really? she, uh -huh, she's been retired. That's the word at Cincinnati Org. Now, Jeannie had her, her flaws and, you know, but she's been in 45 years. And her punishment, uh, at one point, Jeannie was the commanding officer of AOSH UK, St. Hill. Wow. But when Janice Grady got pregnant, Jeannie still in the complete loss of her husband who died of cancer, Jens Bogvard, yeah. had some communication with uh, Janice Grady. And Scientology, as you know so well, is essentially got its spies here, there, and everywhere. And they had an embedded spy, a private investigator, who was living with them and schmoozing them and so on. And the private investigator, oh, my boy, I go blank on names. Famous one, not, not Gene Ingram. Um, it'll come to me as we talk. The private investigator reported this. So Gene was hauled to int base and locked in a cabin. She'd already served about 25 years. She was locked in a cabin for three months, Ron, with no human contact other than her sex checks. She was sex, her food was put through a slot. And the fear of crossing David Miscavige, the fear that this installed, this three month isolation in a little cabin at Ink Base, and six months of dire sex checks. Sex checks means interrogations. Right. This is like police polygraph interrogation. It's not done for your benefit. It's not done to make you have some realizations, wins. It's done for intelligence purposes. Jimmy stayed on. She went through this brutal She's just yeah. with them. You know, I, I didn't know her that well, but if you meet her a couple of times, you feel you know a person. That yeah. person, she was completely open. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, you met her and it was like, gee, I always knew this person. I we only knew I only knew her as a staunch Sea Org member who would die for the cause. And I am, actually, this is news to me that she is retired. I did not know that. Well, what does retired mean? Um, you know, I heard, I don't, I don't like to just talk about rumors in the thing, but the word is that she's been declared suppressive person. Yeah. Now, uh, they do something really strange where certain people can be declared suppressive person and do A to, <clears throat> do A to E, which is the penance steps to be undeclared. And which also doesn't make any sense because if you're an antisocial personality, how can you then be a non-antisocial personality? Yeah. And 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 you'd have to do tremendous amends. Um, well, I know it's like changing a tiger into a mongoose. It isn't going to happen. <laughs> I mean, you know, a, an SP by mm -hmm. nature is bad to begin with and always will be bad. That term uh, to pin on people is just a way of uh, making them into a nothing. That's all. Well, 50 years of service. She was, goes back to the early 70s on the Apollo. We're in, 2000, we're in 2020 now. Yeah. So uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pin Jeannie's story in some picture. You know, in comments, I want you to, I'm going to pin Jeff Hawkinson, Jeff, Jefferson Hawkinson's 
Jefferson Hawkins blog, which is called Leaving Scientology. Good. It's an incredible site. Right. Right. I'm going to put both of these on comments so that those listening in can get very much enlightened on who is Jefferson Hawkins, who is Jeannie Sonnenfeld. That's oh, a great way, idea. I got to tell you something. Her husband, David Sonnenfeld, has fourth degree cancer. Oh, God and almighty. slowly progressing towards terminal. So the cult have the wife and the son here in Los Angeles on hard labor while the father and husband is no mercy. Wow. He's alone, slowly dying of cancer while Jeannie and David, Jeannie and David's son, Connor, are here, separated, not allowed to be with the guy who's slowly passing away. And I knew David well, and I'll tell you. Oh, you did? Absolutely. Did he, 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 was, he was a reg in one of the pack orders. Yes, yes. I think was. In, in AO. Very decent individual. Very decent individual. That's, this is a, well, it's a reflection of what goes on, what the church produces. Splitting up families. Hey, I lost my two daughters, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren. It's okay. Do that to them. You know, they do this to people just like throwing dice down and playing, you know, craps on the corner someplace. And it, it's just no big deal. No compassion. No care about a human being or their lives or what they're dishing out. Okay, we'll declare them. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. You know, here's another thing, and I, I think we should talk about this before we sign off today. If you're in RTC, you know, you can't marry somebody who's in a lower order than you. Yes. <laughs> this is like the caste system in India. It's very much caste if, system. If you're, if you're born as an untouchable or whatever they call them, you can never get out of that caste, and you're considered a lower than normal, and people shouldn't associate with you. And yeah, I mean, I, I knew, well, I think JB had to get divorced from uh, Deirdre because uh, JB was in RTC. He was an enabler for, for David. He's since left and uh, he's doing very, very well. As a matter of fact, he's designing ships. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, that's what he does for a living. Architect, and, um, architect of ships, wow. Yeah, for one of the cruise lines. So even with this coronavirus, he's, he's still working every day. Very talented individual. And, um, yeah, I, the cast system just, to me, it's never worked. Well, uh, never let worked. me chime in here on that. In Scientology, you, you get into the culture where you're immediately sized up by what all you belong to. For example, if you stroll somewhere and you say, I'm from Int Base or Gold Base, ooh, lower yeah. level fish <gasps> are saluting you. You're right. special, right. you're great. And, you're, and if you say, oh, well, what, what uh, church do you uh, I work for Kansas City Org, immediately, a Scientologist goes as eh, a lower level uh, yeah. satellite. And then in the Sea Org, if you're in a canteen and someone says, hello, what are, and if you say you're public secretly, it's like, ha, they're not even staff. Yeah. They're just public. Yeah. So this hierarchy mentality of a caste system is, has evolved where the highest seniors are really looked upon as rock stars, as, as someone to admire. Yeah. And, and as you go down the food chain, you're next to nothing. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, those who are watching, if any of you are public in the Church of Scientology, you are looked down upon by the yes. Sea Org. Yes, very much so. You, you are considered... Not worth the dilettantes. Dilettantes. Exactly. Yes, public is sneered at. 
yeah. and public that don't donate in large sums. Now, if you're a whale and you're giving gobs of money, you're not looked down that much because you're paying up. Yeah. You're paying up. But if you're hovering around and you're not really donating, you're not on a schedule to donate to the IAS monthly, you're looked on as a little bit of a leper practically. Yeah. Right? There's a yeah. huge, huge, uh, uh, where the CO even threaten when they arrive at people's houses to pick up a check or demand money. If you're rude to them, they scream that they are sealed. Yeah. How dare you speak to them like that? Yeah. You will be receiving a knowledge report. This is this is a, a kind of calling rank on someone they feel does not have the rank. Yeah. Anyway, I was wondering if we could end up on some more cheerful things. We go into the dire, uh, it's almost depressing, right? Is, is almost depressing, but I will fill in the audience with some really good stuff on the fate of Jeannie after serving 50 years and Jefferson Hawkins. So th those are going to enrich this little video by the top comments I make. How can we end off on more cheerful notes than, well, I don't know, the church... Uh, broadcasts almost amusingly that they're scrubbing and using these sanitizers on the walls and they have the highest tech of, of these uh, detergents and antiviral soaps and blah. But it's human transmission. I know. The, 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 the virus doesn't jump from the floor onto you or jump from the walls but the bragging is that we have a state of the art cleanliness. They're not looking at, because they still just broadcast, they still have people on OT levels yeah. at the folks doing their OT levels. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you some bright things. Look at my other shows. I do a thing called <laughs> Story Time. <laughs> and you can watch that. And I tell stories from the two humorous books I wrote. You can just sit back and for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, have an enjoyable laugh and just, you know, just don't think of anything about what I'm talking about. And that's a relaxing moment. And then there's another thing. As an example, I do what I call life lessons. As an example, some of the one of the life lessons, don't ever loan money to a friend or a relative. <laughs> There's some advice to you. It never turns out good. If you're going to do that, give them the money. But anyway, that, that's one of the life lessons. There's a whole bunch of them. And then I come up with an exercise apparatus because I've been looking for something for my fellow veterans to use to, for strength exercises. And I, I found this thing about a month and a half ago, and I've done six videos on it. It's dirt cheap. And, you know, if you exercise, it helps your immune system. You look better. You feel better. You're healthier, uh, you know, and just uh, has a lot of benefits. So they can watch those for entertainment and uh, their own self Well, improvement. <laughs> I couldn't think of a goddamn <laughs> word, all right? <laughs> but anyway, Karen, I, I I think we covered what we wanted to talk about today, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we did. We did. We and covered. please, don't forget to put those things about Jeannie and, and I will do it. And, and I will do Jefferson. it. That would be wonderful. Um, maybe I can just laugh and mock Osa for their continuing fair game on me. Maybe I can give them some bad news. The bad news is, because I'm older like you, I had every test done at Kaiser. Oh, my God. They tested me for bizarre strain. I, I mean, I'm healthy as a horse, but just, just, just for the rec, you know, just for everything, not just the mundane things like cancer, diabetes, um, you know, Legionnaire's disease. Blah, blah, blah. I wanted every test they could do. Hey, you know, cost money. Do it. Do it. Do it. 72 tests. This is the bad news for OSA. I, my test came back. I'm as healthy as a horse. And you don't look like a horse. You're good looking. <laughs> well, 
no, no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If they were hoping, oh, she'll die off and will, because their statistic is a dismissed attacker. So they're continuing fair game on me, which I'm so aware of, orchestrating yeah. behind the scenes. It goes nowhere. Take yeah. your fair game and shove it where the sun don't shine. I am here to stay, Osa. And on that note, watch I'm gonna... me. Just <laughs> watch the next few months. I'm ready to rock and roll. There you go. And on <laughs> that note, I, I think we're going to end the show because. Okay. Well, that's, that's all we can say about it. Um, so remember, if you feel enlightened or you feel you'd like to contribute to this, you can become a patron. But if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and, you know, try to get a lot of friends to subscribe. I'd like to get this up to a lot more subscribers than we have right now. So for Karen and myself, I would like to say have a healthy day. God bless all of you. And I will see you on the next episode. So long, Karen. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.